Hello everybody, this is a follow-up to last week's video um, where I talked about the um, new Respond to Power Apps Action and Flow and I used it to move document files. Now I'm going to show you how you can modify that to use it to make photo galleries both in apps and in SharePoint. Now what's important here is go look at that last video because there's absolutely no change to everything, right? Basically, what that means is I am making one change and this works. To the flow, I'm changing the document library to another library that is for construction photos in this case, right? I'm dedicating this library to construction photos. And I've also added the same ref ID number that we added before. So if I go to the all documents view, and then you look, I added this column called ref ID. It still has the ID column. I'm just not showing it in this view, but this is the new column that is necessary to keep a relationship between the contractor and the photos that he uploads. You can easily in, um, in SharePoint group by the ref ID if you want to, so you can see the items in a list view by the contractor's ID number, okay? Um, I chose to show this in tiles so that it looks more like a photo gallery, okay? And in this case, I'm gonna actually remove that group by, but you could keep it, all right? So, I mean, there's just so many different ways you can handle this, right? And you can collapse and so forth and so on. You can see how this works. So I'm just gonna revise this. Um, I'm going to go back to my list view. I'm going to remove my grouping. First, I'm going to stop selecting something. And I'm going to remove my grouping. I think this little icon might mean that. I haven't tried it, but that's a cute little icon. Could actually do that. And then I'm going to put this view in tiles view. To me, it looks more like a photo gallery that way. And of course, if you prefer the grouped view, you would do that first and then move it into tiles and save it for everybody else. Remember that until you actually save the view, it could be only for you. All right. So there we go. Um, and we can totally arrange this and sort this by whatever we want to sort it by. Modified date, ref ID, title, whatever we want to sort it by. Kind of like that too. All right. Now, that's all I did for the library. I created a new library. I gave it a ref ID. I decided what my view should look like. And then I went to flow. And everywhere that I had flow dots, docs from last week, I replaced it in, with construction photos. Then I opened my actual app and replaced the source of the gallery on the third screen to be construction photos instead of flow docs. And it works. Nothing to worry about. It just works right out of the box. So let's give it a try. We go back to our contractor list. Again, I've completely edited my flow just by changing the document library name. And I've saved that flow, so now it works differently. So, for instance, uh, for contractor B, I think there's an, no, there's a there's an attachment for contractor C. So let's okay. So I'm going to edit item four so that you can see me use my workflow. So I'm going to hit the edit button, and then when my form opens, I'll hit allow. And there's my form. Now I did make a change. I moved the hamburger icon over here where you can see the files that are currently associated with this um, thing. Um, or I can just move. So if you ever notice that your changes, like this hamburger icon was down here on, on Sunday and Friday, I moved it up. If you ever notice it's down there and you go, wow, I'm sure I saved and published, but it's not showing up down there, then um, clear cache. I find that sometimes our form changes can get cached and the purpose there is to speed it up, right? If it's cached, it doesn't take as long to load. But when you're editing your form and you're doing iterations, you might actually want to clear the cache so that you can make sure you get the most recent version of your form. So this hamburger, if you remember, is what goes and looks in the document library to see what files are associated with this item. And apparently, right now, there's no files associated to contractor C, so it's blank, okay? So I'm going to go back to the form, and I'm going to use my flow button to move these two, and these are actually personal files, I believe, um, that I just grabbed off my desktop. 
I'm going to move them to the library that we've selected, which is the construction photo library. And as soon as we move it, we'll be able to go and look and see all the files that were uploaded with that. Okay, so you can see there that there are the two files I just uploaded. This is just a screenshot of something, this one here. And this one is just a little bit of artwork. And of course, if you want to, you can create a link that when you click on them, it opens that just like I did last week. Not a problem. Okay. So I'm going to go back to my form and I'm going to open up a different item that I know has more attachments. So you can see that this works, but it's no different than what I did in the last video, guys. Look for the video posted um, this past weekend and I'll put a link in the description here. So I'm going to select number one now and hit edit. And my form will open. Okay, so my form is open. And now I'm going to do is click on the hamburger. And you can see here are the files that are associated to item one. So it's always looking at that library and matching the ID number of this item to the ref ID in the library. These are the three most important things of the, of the photo gallery. This is the gallery that's looking up to the contractor's photo library to see which photos have been uploaded for this list item. So you can see the items property is going to the construction's photo library and it's looking, it's filtering it by the ref ID equals the ID of this list item. I have this sorted by the modified date in descending order. Okay. Then inside of the, let me just close this. Inside of the gallery, I can click on the pencil icon here. You'll see that I have two controls. I have an image control. This is just, I did insert media image from inside this gallery right where I am now and then when the image came in there I set its image property to this item link and I set the image position to fill and you may or may not like that but it keeps all my images the same size in the gallery so but they're not all different sizes and then I also added a label control in there um, that is actually the upload date and time. So it's the created value from SharePoint. And so um, the last thing you might want to do is click on the image icon and set the launch, set the on select of this to launch the photo. So you would just change this to launch this item dot link. You just want that same exact URL. And now when they click on that photo, it'll launch it in the browser. Okay. So that's all that is. Okay. Enjoy. Thank you for your time. And I'll see you at the next Friday functions video.